Good morning to you all. Stay on the happy new month and happy weekend to you guys. Today is Saturday 2nd and the topic is he gave us everything. Praise the Lord. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer together. Faithful God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we bless you, we adore you, we appreciate you for your loving kindness, we thank you for your faithfulness, thank you for your blessings that had no sorrow, thank you for keeping us alive and waking us up healthy and strong, thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning, thank you for the wisdom that comes to the world, for in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Saturday, 2nd of March, 2024. And today's topic is, He gave us everything. Colossians 3 verse 4 says, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. In John 5 26, Jesus said, for as the Father had life in himself, so had he given to the Son to have life in himself. Meaning that Jesus had the inherent life, the very divine nature, praise the Lord. He said, I want you to know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. That's John 10:38. This is simply extraordinary. This is the very thing that God wants for us. This was his purpose for creating man. So that he be in man and man would be in him. So you become a super being. The first man or reflection of God. Hallelujah. When you receive Christ and are joined to him, you become one with him. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.17 This oneness with Christ makes you supernatural because his divine life supplanted the human life with which you were born of your biological parents. Now that you are born again, what you have is the Christ life. Hence, our team verse says, Christ is your life. Then 1 John 5 verse 11 to 12 says and this is the testimony god has given us eternal life and this life is in his son he who has the son has life he who does not have the son of god does not have life let's be god what the apostle john is referring to in the verse above is eternal life anyone who has jesus the son of god has eternal life but then, in giving you eternal life, he actually gave you himself because he is himself eternal life. Praise the Lord. And we know that the Son of God is come and had given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and the eternal life. Praise the Lord. First John 5.20. Hallelujah. This is the gospel. Jesus gave us everything that he is. He gave us his name. He gave us his righteousness. And he gave us his life. Praise the Lord. The Bible says we are joined here with him. Romans 8, 17. As he is, so are we in this world. 1 John 4, verse 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has given us everything. Praise the Lord. He gave us everything. That's our topic today. And who? From on the first on the second, it's just God's love. It's deep love towards you, towards us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, topic is He gave us everything, everything you desire in life. God has given to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why we say, God, you are so good. God, you are so good. God, you are so good. You are so good to us. Praise the Lord. 
it is so good to us praise the lord everything that pertains unto life and godliness god has given to us in abundance praise to lord hallelujah and pastor remind us that jesus gave us everything that as he he is so are we in this world praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord he gave us his righteousness he gave us his life praise the lord everything now we are righteous because of jesus christ hallelujah we are sin free because of jesus christ so that is the reason why we are here Praise the Lord, because we are born free. We are free. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the confession. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me everything. He gave me your name, your righteousness, and your life. Now I am an associate of the God kind, an heir of God, and a joint heir with you. As you are, so am I in this world. Blessed be God. For that study, you can look at Colossians 1, verse 26 to 27. 1 John 5, 11 to 13. When your Bible read the plan, Mark 9, verse 33 to 50, and Numbers 9 to 10. To your Bible read the plan, Acts 23, verse 11 to 21, and Psalm 52 to 54. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. 